What evil prank have you pulled off? Over a decade ago I worked in the warehouse of a guitar center. We dealt with inventory, shipping and receiving. We had a dumpster behind the store in a shared parking lot that people would leave random things in, even though it was not a public dumpster. One day we found her a broken beach chair in an open cardboard box. The box had a shipping label on it. It was left in such a way that it was easy to assume that the chair slash box combo was left by the same person. We packed the beach chair in another box and shipped it back to the customer. I wish I was there to see the person's face when they received their trash back via wraps. I lived in Korea for a bit. When my mom came to visit I told my Korean girlfriend it was an American custom to greet older women by touching elbows. I told my mom the same story about Korean customs. It was a thing of beauty. They were not pleased. One night I replaced every framed object in my boss's office with a picture of me making a stern face. Posters. Certificates. Photos. Etc. Took like 3 hours because he had like 30 framed things in his office. The next day I made sure I was out doing field work to make him sit with it most of the day. He had a lot of foot traffic to look at his office that day. I remember it like it was yesterday. At summer camp my cabin's leaders found a little snake that wasn't doing so well, so they decided to put it in an old terrarium in our cabin. A few of the guys were nervous about it. So the next day, when the leaders decided the snake was well enough to release, I asked that they keep quiet about releasing it. When the other guys got back to the cabin and found no snake in the terrarium, chaos ensued. My mum's laptop wallpaper was a picture of her granddaughter. I copied the picture 100 times and made her wallpaper a slideshow of the same picture over and over again. So the file would change but nothing would change visibly on the monitor. The pictures would change every 10 seconds. On one of the images I painted a tiny little curly moustache on her. So randomly for 10 seconds my niece would have a moustache. My mum thought she was either losing her mind or had a computer virus and every time the moustache popped up. It was gone by the time she tried to show anyone. One that was played on me. I took my SATs, college and transexams. For those outside the US, on April 1st, should have known right. But apparently, I'm not that smart. That night I went out with a group of friends. And when I got home my mom met me with a serious look on her face. She told me that the testing committee had called. That there had been an error and all test papers from that day were lost. Everyone was being contacted to schedule a date to retake the exam. She totally sold it. Face. Reactions. Everything. I bought it hook, line, and sinker. And she let me believe it until lunchtime the next day. My mom is a diabolical person. People in school used to always take my Gatorade. So I took an empty bottle, filled it with dyed salt water, and let them take my drink. Not gonna lie. It was hilarious watching one person to spit salt water in the middle of class only for their unbelieving friend to do the same. Early days of networked PCs. DOS and netware. I worked in a computer lab on campus. There were ran at a lot of management utilities available at the time so I and a few other student employees wrote batch scripts and small programs to automate a few things when a student or professor would log onto the network. Having that sort of access led to numerous pranks being pulled, but most of us were savvy enough to figure it out and undo the prank. However, we had two coworkers who liked to loaf a bit too much for our liking. They were not at all technical and had taken the lab assistant job because they thought it was easy money. They had conspired to be assigned to a remote classroom lab that rarely had any students in it who would need assistance for most of their working hours. They would just sit around and play games on the PCs while the rest of us were, you know, working. Clearly this could not stand. I rewrote a piece of code that was executed when every single user signed on. If the username was either one of these two and they were signing in on a PC in that remote classroom and it was during their working hours it would look at an innocuous file on the network. The file merely had a few bytes in it which noted how long it had been since this prank had last been triggered, ensuring that it would run once or twice a week maximum. If it did activate, it would launch a terminate and stay resident program which would wait a random time between 515 minutes and then 
drop an image of two dudes 699 on the monitor for a few seconds and reboot the PC. Tested it. Put the compiled program in place and deleted the source. Much hilarity ensued for the next two semesters. Working in a hot factory. Supervisor and job planner in this enclosed cubicle with a window ack unit in the middle of the shop ack and I-68 backslash in there, while we sweat our ass off in 95110 backslash air feet. Kinda hot and pussy and always flies around I kept grabbing the flies alive. Walking into the cubicle, to ask a usually legit question, or say I'm just cooling off, and opening my hand behind my back. I put 14 of those fuckers in there in one shift. He never did catch on I was doing it, and the planner was. Pissed swatting around there were, so many flies in there. Supervisor was cleaning out every crevice thinking some food is supporting life now somewhere. Dude was harassing my ex, because he used to have a cell phone number. Was being a real fucking creep. Anyways, I created an email address. Signed up to Kijiji, and placed an ad offering an 83D TV for free with some excuse about a bad breakup, and not wanting her to get it. I asked people to only text or call. I then went to bed and forgot all about it until the next day at work I'd get a text from my ex asking if I had done something on Kijiji the dude was begging her to take the ad down. And apologizing. I checked the email and there were 5 pages of responses, even though I had told them not to email, but to call or text. Dude's phone must have been ringing constantly. I took the ad down, and she never heard from him again. I got pranked. Does that count? Was at a house party at my then girlfriend's place. She knew me really well, and knew that I've got a fairly competitive spirit. The place is really dark. She turns to me in the dim light and says, my name. I bet you can't fit an orange in your mouth, and eat it all in one bite. Wasn't about to say no to a challenge, so I took her up on it. Only it wasn't an orange, that she'd peeled but a lemon. Well did a cowwalker's boot to the floor. He had worn out the toe caps on his steel toed boots, while he was making a weld kneeling inside a large piece of equipment, on steel. I put a small tack weld on his boot, so he had trouble breaking it loose and getting up. I used to work at a science tutoring center when I was in college in my gap year before professional school. One of the things we taught very often was anatomy. So naturally we acquired a few skeletons and various skulls with some variation in how they looked, or were marked etc. Well I was closing one night. And I knew my cowalker was opening the next morning early. So before I locked up I sorted all of the skeletons and skulls in a welcome party near the front door. I had one. Immediately at the opening of the only door into the room was several backup skeletons and skulls just behind at a table together watching on. The best part was that you have to turn on the lights manually and that switches immediately to the side of the door opening. So when she reached down to turn on the lights she had to come face to face with some lifeless skeleton skull in the middle of the shady opening. Needless to say she screamed. And it was loud enough to make our boss come to see if she was okay. Woke up to some colorful texts from Mayo. Still proud of that one honestly. One year. My sister had to move back into my parental's house. I was like 15. She was a little older. Mid 20s. April Fooler's comes. And I know my sister woke up at like 6am. So I took out the light in the kitchen. Put Vaseline all on the refrigerator handle. And put a rubber band around the water gun on the sink. I waited for her to go in the kitchen, I was in my room pretending to be asleep. And all I heard was a er shit. Uh, followed by a er shit. Uh, followed by her screaming my name, and waking up my parents. My parents were not happy. Floor was soaked with water. And it woke both of them up. I'd do it again though. Edit. Water gun thing. There is a small little black sprayer to the right of the sink. You pull it out. It has a hose connected to it and you can spray down dishes and such. Back in middle school, my best friend and me sent an email to a newspaper claiming to be a famous person, stating we would be running in the upcoming presidential election, and that they'd hear the details shortly. The next day, all the main newspapers over here printed it and some started speculating about the strategy until it was all officially denied, at which point the person and their company started speculating themselves about who and why would plant such a story. Unaware it was just two kids who accidentally found a spoof emailing app at the iPhone jailbroke nap store. One summer in college, I worked in the registrar's office. 
registering all the incoming freshmen. A prof who was a mentor to me was teaching freshman seminar and asked me to hand pick a class for her. Straight A students. High sats. Whatever. So I did. 15 students. All named Sarah. Once I asked a friend for another friend's phone number. He gave me a teacher's number. I then went on to send multiple messages in a fake angry tone to my unsuspecting teacher. Fuck that diabolical genius of a friend. At my high school senior class picnic way back in the late 80s, I spread a rumor that the brownies I brought were pot brownies. Half a dozen kids went to the nurse because they were so stoned. I farted under the covers then pointed at the ceiling above my gf and shouted spider. So she'd throw the blankets over her head. Later when she told her parents. That turned out to be the thing that earned her dad's respect for me. Made him laugh so hard he needed an inhaler. Close bracket. I made fake versions of Internet Explorer that turn your PC off when started in the Ike class at school. I put hot sauce on my little brother's toothpaste one morning when we were kids. He apparently thought he was being poisoned. Seriously, please like and subscribe and comment something nice for your favorite reddit slave. Not a prank I pulled off, but one I was victim to. My manager had left me in charge of the store when I was 16. Not legal but fatter as a whole other mess, for a whole weekend. Saturday went well, and I was happy with how I went. Although my paranoid brain is always concerned about whether or not doors are actually locked. I am the same with my house. But the store was worse. So I make my dad drive down to the store to double check that everything is okay. 15 minutes later I get a phone call. From him saying Anna, manager, and the police are here. Because the door was unlocked and people were in C2O. Cue to me on the floor in tears hyperventilating. While my dad is telling my mum, who had since picked up the phone, that he was only kidding, and that everything was fine.